All right, welcome to the introduction for CCB for Village Presbyterian Church. My name is Pastor Steve, and I'm pleased to be walking you through this. CCB is a resource that we use. Uh, it stands for Church Community Builder. It's an online database that we use for a variety of things in the church. Uh, it works in conjunction with our website, villagepress.net, uh, but it's somewhat different. And so what I'm going to do is uh, open up my internet browser. This is the... Uh, homepage for our church website, villagepress.net. There are a variety of ways that you can get to CCB to get started. Uh, one of the easier ways is just to click over this connect button and uh, go down to the tab that says launch CCB, uh, and that will bring you to the startup page for CCB. Uh, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, if you notice on the uh, right-hand column here, there are a variety of things that say uh, to access our online community, use this link. If I click that, I would be back to CCB. If I do click that, another way is just to bookmark it. You can hold Command D uh, in uh, at least uh, most web browsers, and that will create a bookmark, and I can bookmark uh, CCB in order to get back to where I need to go. But whatever you need to do in order to get back to where you need to be uh, to log into CCB, uh, that's where you get started. If uh, someone doesn't have access to CCB if you go to our again to the uh, uh, home page for our church and click on this uh, click uh, this link uh, it will create a village connection page if someone enters their first name last name a contact phone number and an email address uh, and a few other things uh, they're able to give us enough information that will allow us to create a username and uh, password for them to access CCB so uh, why don't we do that now? We're going to go back to the uh, home screen. And what I've done is I've uh, auto-generated a new username and password for someone starting CCB for the very first time. So if you were to fill out that village connection page and your basic data gets into the system, then you are sent by the, uh, to the address that you included, the email address that you included, um, uh, an update that will give you a username and password. And so I sent that to a Yahoo account that I don't use very often. And so uh, it looks like this. Here's my Yahoo mail. What I'm going to do is click this uh, invitation that came from Village Presbyterian Church. As I click that, uh, I see website login. Hi, Simon. Uh, that's the alias I used. Uh, Hi, Simon. Welcome to Village Presbyterian Church online community powered by Church Community Builder. Uh, CCB will make communicating, serving, and doing ministry at Village Presbyterian Church much easier. Uh, to learn out, you can watch uh, how, watch the short video. Uh, and there are a few things that you can do first, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk you through what it is that you need to do first in order to update your profile, to add a photo, and to look at your group pages. And so in order to get started, I'm going to copy this uh, password. I'll be able to change that on my profile the first time I log in. And so I'm going to hit copy. Uh, there's my username, and I'm going to click this to get started. See where we end up. There it is. Uh, username, uh, Envoy for Hope at yahoo.com, and overlay my password there and log in. I don't want it to remember because this isn't a permanent thing. So there it is. It says, Welcome, Simon, uh, on the right hand column there, and I can go to my profile. So I'm going to go to my profile to make some changes here. First thing that I see is my uh, email address is correctly noted up above, Envoy for Hope at yahoo.com. My name is listed as Simon Peter. I had to think of a uh, first and a last name that was somewhat biblical, and there it is. Uh, but to make changes to that, what I'm going to do on the right-hand column is edit my uh, edit profile. As I click that, I want to make sure that all the information that's, that is uh, included, including my birth date, uh, day, year, uh, year is helpful, certainly, as we enter children in, uh, that we're going to want to know what different grades they are. But uh, if you want to start that, uh, marital status, if you have an anniversary date, contact phone, uh, any information like that. I'm also going to add a photo. So choose photo. I click on that. Look around my uh, desktop. See if I have one for Simon Peter here. Right there. I click yes. Save that. Click save at the bottom here. And... Voila. Now it's not just Simon Peter with a funny looking thing, it's actually Simon Peter the Fisherman. Um, the other thing that I encourage you to do the very first time that you log in is to uh, change your username and password. 
Uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, it's really hard to keep track of all this information. What I would suggest is that you use whatever uh, username and password. If you have a Facebook account, go ahead and use your same username and password. Um, and so my username on this, I'm going to create it to uh, just be Simon Peter, because I know that's pretty safe. Uh, password uh, needs to include both numbers and letters. And so what I'm going to do is uh, uh, choose a favorite Bible verse, John 3.16, John 3.16, and it's going to send me an email so I can remember what that is. I'm going to click Save. And uh-oh, passwords didn't match. I should pay attention. John 3, 16. John 3, 16. No colon in that. Uh, send email. Save. See if I did it right this time. Yes, I did. And so I'm going to have to log in again. What did I say? It was uh, Simon Peter. And then John 3, 16. Log in. Don't remember that password, please. And I'm in. That's how you get started. You can also access, as you click around here, you can find a lot more to this. Uh, there's information in terms of family members adding, uh, involvement, serving availability. There's also financial information that you can access. Uh, your giving record uh, is all available online. That is unique to your profile, though. You cannot uh, access the giving records of others, nor can they access yours. Uh, but it's a great way to keep track of uh, your financial security. So that's all you need to get started. I don't want to labor on. If you've got other questions, there are other videos that are available on the help menu. But uh, thank you. And uh, I appreciate you logging in.